post-game press conference here with Coach uh, Todd Hopner and players Cody Smith and Hayden Eckner. Again, with a statement from Coach, and then we'll open it up to questions. Thanks, Nick. Um, very unfortunate day. Uh, obviously, we didn't make enough plays to win a football game. I thought Duluth played really hard. They were very physical. We took a lot of casualties today. Um, as coaches, we got to do a better job of putting our players in a position to make plays. Yeah, you talked a little bit about the last move, the first half. Yeah, we were, we were trying to score. Um, we had a false start, a personal foul. Um, those things obviously didn't help us, right? Um, I thought we could run the clock out with an outside zone play that usually takes at least five seconds. Uh, it's unfortunate that our forward progress was start, stopped, right? Um, should have punted it. I was very concerned about their punt return unit uh, and after a three and out in the second half, they almost housed one with their punt return unit. So I um, was very concerned about them blocking it and or um, getting a return right before half. Yeah, I thought the, you know when the game was in contention, I thought the defense did a really good job of creating turnovers, um, you know, getting us the ball back offensively, and you know, defensively, I thought Duluth did a really nice job of diverting run lanes, putting pressure on the quarterback. We got, you know, Hayden got hit more in this game than he probably did all year long. Um, we had a few sacks, which isn't good either. Um, so, bottom line is we've, we've got to have a better pressure plan and hats off to Duluth and their defense for holding us to 21, well below our goal. Hey, is, there, is there something going differently in the second half with the offense? It just seemed like they kind of struggled. Uh, yeah, just going to execute plays, weren't executing and take a lot of blame for it. And uh, yeah, just got to play a lot better, be a lot better. Uh, yeah, um, I think I've spoke to it. Uh, I just I take a lot of pride in in wearing these colors and wearing the Minnesota State on my jersey, and I take even more pride playing on the Blake. So, um, yeah, it was I yeah I think we tried our hardest out there. We didn't execute enough. Um, it's been amazing. It, it, it is amazing to play on that field, and um, yeah, I, I took a lot of pride in it. Just didn't get it done, and uh, got to execute better, and yeah. Yeah, Chad, we played, what, uh, 11 games this year, 13 last year, that's 24 games. 12 of those games were at the Blake, and Dakota was a part of a really strong legacy, and so was Hayden of winning, you know, 11 of those 12 games, right? But you need that 12 to secure a playoff spot. You need that 12th game to assure that you're potentially going to be at home again. Um, but, you know, if you take a big picture look, uh, there was a lot of positive things that happened at Blakesley in 22-23, and today was definitely not one of them. See what happens tomorrow. I don't really know. I, you know, Augustan is up right now when this video is playing, and how quick it gets posted, I have no idea. But um, you know, head to head, Duluth has the same record. They beat us head to head. Bemidji has the same record potentially. Uh, we beat them. Um, it, you know, it's going to boil down to SOS and. Strength of schedule coming into today, we were seventh, right? Bemidji was fifth. I think Augustana may have been fifth, and Bemidji was sixth. So, you know, I'm not sure how much those SOSs are going to change. Both Bemidji and us are going to take a hit if things stay the same the way they are right now. And Duluth, 
takes a step forward. And so, you know, either Augustana or Duluth or, or Augustana or Bemidji are going to be crowned champions today. Um, and they're obviously going to have a home playoff game, whoever that is. And then there's going to be a three-way tie for second in the NSIC. And so, you know, it's an unfortunate situation. We controlled our own destiny. And we didn't do enough as coaches to put our players in a position to make plays. Uh, yeah, I, I think disappointing would be an understatement, but that's just a testament to the standard we have in this program. Um, and the, yeah, the, the standard that this man on my left has set. And, um, and so, yeah, I think it's always disappointing because the championship is our only goal. Um, and our, 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 our goals are still ahead of us. Um, I don't put it out of reach. Um, I will take this moment to say that I couldn't be more appreciative of this man right here. Um, I think I just couldn't be more grateful for the person he is and the coach he's been to me um, and then and the person he is for this program, this university. Um, so I just want to take this moment to say how much I appreciate him. Um, and I don't think we're done, so. I like that attitude. I appreciate the support. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it.